Okay, guys, now we've always had a lot of professional wrestling fans here, Spaz Boys Comedy, The Goosh. I think it's for a number of reasons. You, you know, there's a lot of anime interest here. I think there's a lot of crossover in fans between anime and wrestling, but more so, of course, I was a professional wrestler for over 30 years, and, and you know, a lot of people with like interests have followed along with us. Now, I never... Well, I was gonna say I haven't intentionally stayed away from making videos about wrestling, but I kind of have In the respect that after I retired, it's been really it's hard When you know you can't go out there and do the thing that you love so much anymore And even watching wrestling got difficult for a while because it just oh, I want to go out and do you know I want to be a part of it again. I want to get in the ring and and it's probably Oh, it's probably not the healthiest idea I could have. So so being done with it made it difficult. But I think I, I'm coming more and more to grips with that. And something happened recently that really, really impressed me in the WWE. And I, I thought it'd be something interesting to talk about. The other night, now I can't show you any clips, obviously. This stuff is all, you, you know, it's all copyright protected, understandably, by the WWE. But the other night, Keith Lee beat Randy Orton. Might not sound like a big deal, but for those who don't know, Keith Lee is, even though he's not a kid, uh, Keith Lee, I believe, is in his mid-30s, but he's an up-and-comer. Uh, he had been working at the NXT brand, and now, you know, he was championship there. They brought him up to the WWE, and Brock Lesnar did a really good job of putting him over some months ago in the Royal Rumble. But last night, they brought Keith Lee up. He beat Randy Orton, beat him clean, and beat him quick. And that may not seem like a big deal, but it points out the absolute best in the business to me. And not that I didn't already have tons of respect for Randy Orton, but gave me even more respect for him because that was pure class on Randy Orton's part. Randy Orton is not some over the hill, down the other side grappler, you know, desperately trying to hang on. He's still a main eventer. The guy is, is, is an absolutely brilliant worker in every respect, still at the top of his game. He, Hell, we've seen plenty of matches that, that show that in no uncertain terms recently, and he's still headlining. But he's putting over the next batch. There's nothing will ever make me believe that Randy Orton didn't have power to veto that whole concept if he wanted to. But he's honoring the age-old tradition of, as your career moves on, putting over the next batch. And that was really cool the way he did it. There was there was no screw job to the end of that. There was no clusterfuck finish to it. There was no one, two, three, oh, kicked out right after the three. Randy Orton put Keith Lee over hard. He took that finisher, I, I, I'm sorry, it escapes me what uh, Keith Lee calls his finisher right now, but he took that finisher and sold it as it knocked the shit out of him. And I actually got a rush watching that. Because Orton will just down, one, two, three, rolled over. I mean, he's like everything but drooling onto the mat. And that's how you get somebody over. I got lots of stories I can tell you about guys in the indies who've done the same thing. Guys in the big time who've done the same thing. And unfortunately, sometimes it seems like that tradition of passing the torch gets left behind. And I, I get so amped for it when it doesn't. Randy Orton was absolutely pure class in putting Keith Lee over. And I like Keith Lee. Man, I, 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 I am big time on board with this guy. The size of him, the way he moves, the, he's got the power moves. He's got ridiculous athleticism for a guy that size. Real great personality. I, I'm looking for big things for him. And when he achieves those big things, and when his career has been, you know, has set himself a legacy in his career and a bunch of titles that I'm sure he's going to win along the lines. Hopefully he takes and he passes it along just like Randy Orton did. That was that was pure class. You can say what you want about Randy Orton's past. We all know he's had issues. He'll In interviews, he'll tell you he's had issues. He knows that. But God damn it, the man respects the business and takes care of business the right way. And that just, that makes me happy to watch. I just became an even bigger Randy Orton, Mark, than I may have been before. That was good shit.